vanilla. My Sephora order came today. I shopped real late on this sale, so y'all have bought up everything, but let's see what I got. First up, well, let me say that I tried to do a lot of black owned support shopping when I did this purchase, so yeah. But first up, I got the topical eye mask because y'all be wearing them out and I wanna see if they actually do something to my skin. So I got some finally. I got some stuff from Vanessa Myricks because the products just be hitting. I got so many of those blushes. Got the Yummy Skin Moisturizing and Repairing Balm Serum. I think this is actually a new product of hers. Let me show you what it looks like. Big. Oh, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. It comes with a little piece. So you can actually take the product out without spreading some germs. Oh, yes. It's very yellow. You know what? This filter went on here and I should have removed it. So, sorry. And I also got the blurring balm powder because I hear good things and I've never tried it. I got it in the color 7. This is 7. I think this is going to match my skin pretty good. I think it might be a little too dark. I don't know. We're going to see. I hope it matches. I hope I got a good color. If not, then I probably should have got six. We are again with another Vanessa Myricks color. This is one of her new blushes, It Girl. I love a good pink blush. Oh, that's very pretty in pink. And then I have no Pat McGrath products, but I seen someone on TikTok doing a concealer review. And I was like, oh, that concealer look nice. So I got one. And this is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Subline Perfection Concealer. I got it in M21. And I think this will be a good under eye concealer. It's like one shade lighter than my skin tone. Not too brightening. Then I saw another girl on TikTok. This video was just inspired by TikTok videos, apparently. <clears throat> she did her lips. She lined her lips with the Hourglass eyeliner yeah hourglass eyeliner this is the waterproof one gel eyeliner and it's in the color chestnut and it's supposed to be a real pretty brown and i was like i'm gonna use that on my lips uh, y'all know i stay using eyeliner on my lips as a lip liner the um wet and wild one all the time and then i already love amicola i use their products quite often on my page but I got the um, lip treatment oil because I was hearing some good things about them lip oils too. And I got this one. And this one's in Bliss. Because lip oils are all the jam now. And then I got the skin enhancing stick. I have their like skin tint. But I saw they had the skin tint. Um, I mean not skin tint. This is the skin enhancing stick. And this looks buttery. And it looks like it's about to be right on my skin i can't wait to use that don't sleep on me cola honey them products be good and what is this i thought i removed this from my i thought i removed this from my bag but apparently i didn't i got the huda beauty faux filler extra shine lip gloss them lip gloss be looking nice though so i got it in honey and i'm excited to try that y'all know i love a good lip gloss in Sephora collection, I got their translucent um, setting powder. This is one of the best setting powders. But if you ain't tried it, try it. And then I like using Melt Balms now. And I had this before. And I liked it. So I bought it again. This is Sephora collection one, the melting cleansing balm. I want to try this um, Sol de Janeiro fragrance. This one's 59. I really want to know what it smells like. Let's see. Actually, I'm spraying on something. Oh, I should have got the big bottle of that when I got the mini size, but that smells good. And I like Josemir. She came out with some new body butters. I got the whipped argan oil body butter travel size vanilla vibes. I don't see what it smells like too. I love vanilla. <laughs> Did not see that happening at all. It smells like vanilla, but it smells like kind of like ice cream. I hope the texture's nice. Okay, not feeling too sticky. I look nice and moisturized. I got a nice shine. But that's all I got, y'all. Thanks for watching my Sephora haul. Peace. Update, literally.
30 seconds after putting on that lotion. This stuff is greasy. This is greasy. This is one of them type of lotions that I would have to put on once I get out the shower while I'm getting ready. And it's starting to rub off my hands a little bit because I cannot wash my hands and put this on my hands and vibe. My hands feel way too greasy. But you ain't going to be ashy. But goodness gracious. This needs to be like a... Is it a body butter? Body, yeah. This is not a hand cream. So take all that what I said is use it on your body. This would be great on your body, but not on your hands. 